<laughs> what what is an iron GM? Yeah. Uh, basically, they get these random things. They have to have an hour to prepare a game, and then run it for some people. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. For some people. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. I thought I saw <laughs> you number guys three guy little walking little down, but he's not here. There, there. All right. So you're gonna get all this stuff, and then we're going to draw some cards over so here. So we have Donald Hannes, Matthew Cresson, Iron GM 2014, and everyone knows Jonathan Manis, Iron GM. Iron GM 2012. Oh, yeah. The first one. The first one. The first, the first one. That's and all. Best one. That's why he's looking a little rusty. Yeah. Oh, well, I can't compete anymore because I have to run that. Okay. okay, so let's choose our bags. Come on, nice. <laughs> good thing I clapped. Nice right sack. Right. I'll take a sack. Take a sack. Which sack do you want? I don't know. I'll roll a die and figure it out. Oh, they got numbers on it, oh, don't actually, they? Oh, that's, yeah. I will take number six. Number six. All right. And I will take number one. Look at that. Are you playing GM contestant number three for tonight? I am. And what, and is, what is your, your name, name, sir? Oh, my name is Joshua Law. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, this is okay. this is Josh Law. He's he's going to be competing. Uh, choose choose a sack. There's no lucky number seven. I'll go with four. Number four. Okay. Um, these are for oh. these are for you. All right. You get two of these. One is for you. One is, you get to get to wait to you play. All right. Now we get to choose our maps. They are. These maps are by Fabled Environments. Uh, there's going to be three maps here, but you only have to use two of them. Yes, you get to keep all the maps. Uh, so first off, everyone gets one of these. There is one common map that... Uh, yes, I'm going to throw Donald off by giving them two of the same map. I can do that. Figure it out. So you just get this one. I am going to stalk you in a few minutes to watch you open the bag, so... There you go. Nice Complimentary so Gaming Paper by Gaming Thank Paper. You, very much. Uh, you each can choose one of these smaller maps. Again, again provided by Fable Environments. Our good friends at Fable Environments. And we have some other maps down here, which uh, you can choose randomly from. Wow. Yeah, let's go for that one. All right. And again, of these maps, you only really have to use two of them. In each of your bags, there is going to be a container from uh, Adventure Sense. There's going to be two of them in there. You only have to use one of them. Okay. Your choice. Uh, use oh, no. <laughs> All right. Now we get to choose our random elements, and Ruby's going to take a picture of it, and then we're going to print it out for you so that you'll have it with you. So, All right. I'm going to stop recording now. So what here's Christmas? Are we periscoping this, or what are we doing? Uh, we're going to put it up later, when we put up everything else. Oh, well, that's many things. Yes. So, the theme is yes. the four senses. The four senses. Because taste is a little hard to do with no outside food and drink. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I brought miniatures. They just happened to be edible, but I brought miniatures. <laughs> all so right. I will do, I'll do all the senses. So what do you got? Okay, so I have a refractoscope, uh -huh. some kaleidoscope kind of thing. I have got a magic whistle. <laughs> I have got... What sense? I've got road tar, <laughs> uh, city streets. Okay. That'll be exciting. And, oh, a fairgrounds. Nice. So... There we go, the fairgrounds. Nice. And? Palms. I have many palms. All right, so you got sight, sound, smell, and touch. Excellent. All right, I'm going to move on. Thank you very much. Prepare. Prepare. Yes. All right, we're here with Matthew Presson, and he's about to open his bag. What's your scent? Gold mine. Gold mine? Yeah. All right. All right. These are interesting. Gold mine and time machine. Okay. Okay. 
What system have you decided to run in? I'm doing Dragon Age. Dragon Age. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, and you got a, a whistle got flute? A whistle and a, yeah. And a crazy bug eye thing. <laughs> and so you probably heard the thing is the four senses. Can't yes. really do taste because no out food, outside food and drink. Uh-huh. So you have sight, sound, smell, and touch. Oh, okay. However you work it in. Gotcha. All right. Well, I'll figure it out. So. Have fun and good luck. Uh-huh. And you are Josh? Josh Law. Law. L-A-W. Okay. And you are contestant number three. And you ready to open your bag? I am. All right. Let us see what other mischief these Iron GM creators have in store for me. <laughs> so I'm sure you heard the, set, the, the theme was the four senses. Because you can't do outside food and drink in here, so we couldn't do taste, and that's kind of creepy too anyway. It would be a little bit creepy. So. By a little bit, you mean enormously. <laughs> I have a flute thingy. I believe that's sound. I used to play with these all the time as a child. My grandmother hated them. So they sight. Modeling beads. This must be touch. That must be touch. I have a pair of scents down here. The first of which, Ice Castle. Come in very handy yes. where somebody has fallen in love with a horse in a tower. And Barren Moon. All right. Well, all righty then. I certainly have a challenge ahead of me. Well, that's what it's all about, right? All right. Good luck and have fun. Thank you very much. Well, it's time for round two. The big deuce of a Iron GM, Scare by Iron GM contest. That way putting it does not put me at ease. <laughs> Only one of the Iron GM contestants has shown up so far. So I'm going to go and give him his stuff. Does that mean I win by default? Well, we, you're competing against the three people from last night. We had a pretty pretty uh, stiff competition last night, he said. But I was going to say that anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, hey, we're recording this, Brooklyn. Thank you. <laughs> so first off, this is for you. It's from Gaming Paper. It's some gaming paper. This is your, it's for you. You can do whatever you want to with that. Um, you will, get, you will choose one of these three bags. You'll have the, your items to work into your game. Choose whichever bag you want. Uh, I'm going to go with three. Okay. You, you're going to get two of these uh, tokens from, uh, or these uh, badge things from, well, you can put whatever, necklace, badge, whatever, from Altruistic Gifts. Little scarabs that glow in the dark. One is for you. The other is to give away to somebody at your table. Awesome sauce. You have two Scarab 2016 D6s that are uh, yours. Particularly handy. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and get you your maps. So you have to use everything in that bag. All right. Uh, there are going to be two things in there. Uh, the adventure scents. So smelly stuff that will enhance your game. You only have to use one of them, but they're both yours. Okay. So if you want to use both of them, that's all right, you will get some maps now. There's going to be three maps, but uh, you only need to use two of them. So we have three different piles here if you want to pick one of those piles. These maps are from Fabled Environments. And then your third map will either be one of these two Fabled Environments or this mystery map from a game mystery slash Pizer slash Pathfinder. Which one do you want? Okay. <laughs> Good choice. And last but not least, the elements to work into your story. We have our Once Upon a Time cards. If you want to flip each one of these cards up, this is going to be what you're going to use to help make your story. Hey, and the second contestant has arrived. So each of them? Yep, just flip them all. Flip one from each pile over here. All right. Uh, the second person to come by is Lee Chalker. 
How, how's it going? Yay. All right, so you get to choose one of these two bags. All right, you have to use the items that are in that bag in your game. There is going to be two uh, canisters from a company called Adventure Sense, and it's a kind of a, it's a smelly kind of thing. <laughs> you only have to use one of them. Okay. You're going to get two of these these uh, token things. Mm -hmm. uh, one's for you, the other you can give away to any of your players at your game. You get two of these D6s. You're going to get uh, some maps from Fable Environments. Choose one of choose one of these piles. And then you either get, uh, so you get both of those maps and you're going to get one other map. You either get this Cloudminder map or this other favorite environment. You only have to use two of these maps. Alright. Alright. Alright, so I have to use two of these maps in my game. Uh-huh. Alright. And you saw I'm going to use one of the synths. And there's other stuff in there too. Okay. Now draw your draw your cards. In the sky. Stepmother. Sleeping. The king fulfilled his side of the bargain. Uh, how about you show us what you got? And if I could have your cards, I can give you this one. Sure, I have a flute. I've got um, one of these kaleidoscope eye things. Um, I have two of these adventure sense deals, uh, Dragon's Cave and Enchanted Forest. Uh, neither of them are terribly unpleasant. Um, and I have a bag of acrylic gems. They're all kind of greenish. I also have a set of maps, including a uh, caretaker's home. I kind of nice floor plan for being at home. And a what looks like might be a blue uh, a bluegrass bar. <laughs> um, oh, I have the seashells. Seashells. I have the. Kaleidoscope, uh, I don't know what the hell you call this thing. It's a kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope. I have the flute. And I have the skunky skunk. Dirty laundry and healing. Hey, you. Mm -hmm. And what maps do you get? Yeah, I mean, I'd say pick some. Uh, and I got the, for, uh, the uh, fortress map that's under all those getting flattened out.
What maps did you get? I'm gonna open those now. Okay. This one appears to be. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. This is some sort of. Oh, it's not exactly perfect, but I can make it work. Um, is it shot? When I did this last year, I got miniatures that were goblins. Huh. And then I got like a modern tavern, like a nightclub kind of place. Awesome. My map. And I was like, how am I going to do that? I'm doing D20 modern, which actually would have worked really well with goblins in the nightclub. Well, I was doing zombies. Ah. <laughs> so let's see. These are fantastic for me. 